Hello and uh, welcome to episode 12 of uh, Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV Stormblood Where we will uh, continue uh, with uh, the Dark Knight questline And uh, yeah, let's uh, talk to Sid Durgu here and uh, Or Sid And see what uh, we are going to do next. Good, good. Glad to see it all uh, worked out uh, in the end. As for you, Misty, I distinctly recall telling you not to do that. Forgive me, I... Had I known it would uh, come to violence, I... Uh, don't you dare start uh, pouting. I'm annoyed, hey, and uh, sore all over. But it's nothing that that won't uh, heal with time. All I ask uh, is that you promise not to do it again without the uh, warning and uh, consent. Memories can be uh, powerful and uh, painful. I'm more way in more way ways than one. That said, uh, he was right. I'm only myself to blame. If I thought I could uh, defeat him, I would. But I didn't uh, think I had a chance, and so I didn't. Ugh. His injuries are uh, worse than I thought. We should uh, hurry back to uh, Mogholm. For a moment I was uh, certain uh, he would fly into a fury. Could it be uh, that he is uh, grateful for the experience after all? And uh, sorry about that, that's my mobile phone. God damn it. Well, by school on the Tobias. Oh, she ended up there. I will be for school in an episode, so can I ring up the snort? Oh, we know how she was not done. Hi, hi. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. uh, then, then it was not in vain. Uh, tired and broken foot uh, he may be, he is uh, nevertheless better uh, for the pain. And in time, in time, we too may be. There is still hope. Redemption is uh, not beyond us. Oh, I'm afraid Riley is right. I'm going to need some uh, time to recover. I'm not uh, fit to travel in my condition. Uh, which means... Uh, which means... Oh, gods, help me. I'm going to have to stay with these uh, furry little shides even longer. Two more times, was it? Two more uh, times and we'll uh, be finished with uh, this uh, boy's cur crusade. Not soon enough. Oh. Geoffrey, 
be a there and uh, punch a Mowgli for me, would you? <laughs> Alright, I guess uh, uh, we need to wait a few levels, yeah, level 68 before we can do the next one, so uh, let's uh, head over here and uh, see what's going on. Holy crap, 700 kill? Oh well. I'm still level 65 and only halfway through. Just like uh, this is taking forever. All right. All are present and accounted for. When you are ready, my friend, pray uh, inform the officer that we wish uh, to proceed into Jurabanu. Ah, oh, the science of the seventh dawn. Uh, we were told to expect you. Shall I uh, summon someone to uh, escort you to the wall? Yes. Alright. Here we go. I remember crossing the border, standing in Girabania once more. Me and my fellow Scions, the warrior of light among us. Behind us, Baelsar's wall cutting the land in two. Freedom on one side, tyranny on the other. Tyranny, and the promise of a new beginning. But one that could only be bought with flames and blood. Greetings, science. On behalf of the Orson Alliance, I welcome you to uh, Custom Re Orions. Thank you, General. We were relieved to uh, hear that your forces uh, secured the wall without the incident. Have the Imperials uh, made any attempt to uh, retake the Castrum since then? None. Save for a few uh, skirmishes uh, between our scouts and their uh, patrols. Uh, we have barely any uh, contact with them. But we, we all uh, know it's only uh, a matter of time before things uh, escalate. As if attacking Belsos wall weren't uh, enough, Ilbert summoned a primal right on their uh, doorstep. And Gallians is not like uh, to let such a show, such shows of uh, defiance go un 
answered. Was a declaration of war, even if it uh, was not Ilbert's uh, to make. And now we uh, are bound by, by it uh, for well or foe, or for, for woe. Uh, the science stand ready to serve, General. Uh, what would you ask of us? As stated in my message, the Alliance uh, will not uh, proceed without the uh, support and uh, cooperation of, uh, of the Alamegan uh, people. Uh, we would have you uh, serve as our emissaries and uh, make uh, contact with the resistance. Consider it done, General. We won't let uh, you down, I swear. Then I'll have you... Uh, then I leave you to it. Uh, Godspeed. <laughs> of all the castra in the in the world, you walk into mine. Master Garland, Garland, what brings you here? A certain mis missing uh, elegant weapon and uh, draconic primal, Omega and uh, uh, Shin Shinryu. I think the uh, shinobi called it. Anyway, uh, we've been uh, studying their uh, trail of uh, destruction, hoping it might uh, lead us somewhere. Uh, which is, uh, which it has uh, singularly uh, failed to do. Then tis, uh, the then tis like uh, Omega fell uh, to the earth in occupied territory. Meaning it may uh, already be in uh, imperial hands. Even so, it bears uh, repeating that uh, that we engaged the uh, stasis system, assuming uh, the command was uh, received and uh, executed uh, successfully. The weapon will be uh, of no use to them. Assuming. Uh, we should uh, hurry up and uh, find it regardless. All the more reason to uh, re uh, reach out to the resistance. If we uh, want to press on into your uh, Abania, uh, we need their uh, blessing. Everyone uh, counting on us. That Let's uh, not waste any uh, more time talking. Alright, here we go. As you probably heard, there are uh, plenty of uh, factions in the resistance. So I'm taking, I'm taking us to see the one uh, with the most influence. Uh, their headquarters are uh, located in a place called uh, Rolgor's Reach, an old uh, temple uh, to the east of here, across the uh, Velodina River. I learned a route that uh, should allow us uh, to avoid Imperial patrols. Stick with me, and uh, we'll be there before you know it. to the south be, uh... oh there it is let's uh pick that
Oh. He decided to run away. There we go. Still with me? Good. From here we will head uh, northeast uh, toward the river. Uh, the water's water's not deep, so we won't have to swim. That's good to hear. Reminds me. Uh, no, nothing there yet. I don't see any uh, soldiers. Uh, good. Let's cross. Uh, you're wondering about the tower uh, to the south? It's part of uh, of Castrum uh, Vel Velodina. Uh, that's what the Imperials uh, decided to call the old bridge after they uh, fortified it. I call it uh, a great big eyesore. Honestly, uh, you can see that rotten banner from uh, ob absolutely miles away. <sighs> They never miss a uh, chance to rub our noses in uh, it, do they? Come on, we should uh, keep moving. Next one is to the south.
We're here. On the other side of uh, this pass is Rolgrove's Reach. So you say, but all I see is uh, see our rocks. I presume there is uh, some sort of a trick to this. Indeed, a glamour. Good eye, Shola. I take it they have a talent, talented uh, mage in their ranks, or may happen uh, artificer. Uh, trained in the modification of uh, glamour prisms, something like that. The important uh, thing is that uh, it fools the golems. Oh, before we go in, I don't know if uh, Tatara told you, but my friend uh, Nago, uh, the messenger who uh, came to uh, Rising Stones. Is a member of uh, this faction, so they know us, and they uh, shouldn't attack us on sight. That said, they can be a bit uh, jumpy, so uh, let me uh, lead the way and uh, don't go reaching uh, for your uh, weapons or anything. And with a sprinkle of uh, the masking, demasking dust, all is laid bare. All right. I remember the old stories, how the Breaker of Worlds came down from on high and cleft the earth with a single blow. Ralga's Reach, a holy place and a fitting home for the Resistance, for the brave and the true, the loyal sons and daughters of Alamigo. They were waiting for us there, men and women whose souls still cried out for what was lost, for what could be ours again. Uh, you forgive us uh, our precaution, but we couldn't uh, be sure who uh, had crossed the barrier. We see you. We see you now for uh, who you are. What? The science of the seventh dawn. Now I know you would. Uh, not have uh, come all this uh, way unless you had uh, something important to discuss and I'm eager to uh, hear what it is you have to say but let's not uh, do this uh, on our doorstep eh? come with me all right There it is. If I remember correctly, yes, there is the e drive shard. Come on, stop calling me, I'm busy.
got to be kidding me. Ah. Oh. Damn it. Everyone is calling me today, it seems. Alright, if I remember correctly, there is one more. Yeah, that crystal up there. So. Let's uh, go and pick that up one up too before we uh, part with the others. There we go, and uh, yeah, then we got that one for free. Allow me to welcome you once more to Ralga's Reach, our humble headquarters. My name is Conrad Kemp, and I have the dubious honor of overseeing operations here. It is a pleasure to meet you, Master Kemp. I am Alfino Leveilleur of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, as are my comrades. Before I speak of our purpose here, pray allow me to thank you for sheltering Ida, forgive me, Lise, and Papalimo at great risk to yourselves. No, no, there's no need for that. They risk their necks for us enough times. It was the least we could do. I... I wanted to... Um, I mean, about the mask and... Ah, oh, don't fret over that. You're not the first person to take up arms against the Empire under a false name. We'd do the same if we had any sense. My condolences for your lost child. Papalimo laid down his life to save us to give us a chance to make a better future for ourselves. There will never be a better time to drive the Garleans from our lands. But we have to take the lead on this. We can't leave it to fanatics like Ilbert. More than a few of our people were taken in by his promises. Followed him all the way to the wall. Good men and women who never came back. 
when Monago told us what had happened, how the bastard had made sacrifices of them for his twisted ritual. By Rolger, it filled me with an unholy fury. But what's done is done. Best we can do now is see that it wasn't all in vain. That is why we are here today, sir, to see that some good comes of this tragedy. On behalf of the Eorzean Alliance, we do hereby extend a formal offer of military assistance to the Alamegan resistance. Do you now? Well, go on then. I'm sure there's more to it than that. So that's the way of it, eh? The Alliance, hoping to avoid a direct confrontation with the superior forces of the Empire, wishes to engage them by proxy with our vastly inferior ones. My comrades and I must confer on your proposal. A moment, if you please. Of course, Master Kemp. Take all the time you require. Oh, all right. So it would seem uh, we find uh, ourselves with uh, Surfelt uh, for free time. Ah, oh, forgive me. Uh, you are free to look around uh, Rolgor's Reach. In fact, I would uh, encourage you to uh, do so. Uh, it will give you uh, a better grasp of our current uh, circumstances. Thank you, Master Camp. I believe uh, we will do just that. Let us make uh, the most of this uh, opportunity and uh, assess the resistance uh, capabilities. Free to poke our noses where wheresoever we will, huh? I like the sound of that. <laughs> Well, I already know this place inside out. Uh, I can show you uh, around if you like, Geoffrey. Great. Let us let's get stalking. Uh, there is one thing I do wanna have a look at here. Only 271 so far. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll be. I'll bet you think uh, the resistance is uh, mostly made up uh, of Alamegan uh, Islanders, like me. But the truth is uh, that we don't even account for half. Uh, we got the uh, Hell's Guard uh, from all the way over by the spine in here. And uh, plenty of uh, seekers of the sun, like Nago. Uh, there's even some uh, beastmen. Well, beast woman, I suppose. Uh, like that one uh, over there. Uh, she's an uh, Ananta. Uh, they've been uh, with us uh, for a while now. Well, one of the s uh, smaller factions has. Uh, the rest won't have anything to do with, uh, with us. Uh, we're no, no different from uh, the Guardians to them. They keep uh, to themselves uh, spending all their uh, time crafting. Uh, Ananta 
makes the most amazing uh, jewelry, by the way. They use uh, magic to uh, twist metals and uh, crystals into shapes you wouldn't believe. Uh, it's a pity uh, people hardly uh, ever get to uh, see their work. But then most uh, don't even uh, know they exist. Uh, that's enough about them. Anyway, uh, let's take a closer look at the statue of Rolgor, shall we? Proto, pretty uh, awe-inspiring, isn't it? Uh, the breaker of the worlds, who uh, guided our ancestors uh, to these lands all those uh, centuries ago. Yuda used to uh, tell me uh, the story uh, on Stormest Nights. She wanted me to uh, understand, to remember. At the end of uh, the fifth astral era, when the waters rose higher, higher and higher, uh, people all across uh, Eorza uh, besieged the uh, heavens uh, for a sign. And lo, uh, a burning star appeared in the eastern sky and led the way uh, to these uh, mountains of uh, Dura Abania. Uh, they who were uh, saved by his grace pledged uh, to honor and revere him, uh, to devote uh, themselves to great works uh, without uh, within, without and within. A storm of blood approaches uh, fast, uh, a storm of blood approaches fast, hell's open heavens weep. For no one uh, soul doth lie beyond uh, the measure of his uh, reach. The last part was uh, inscribed uh, on this uh, stone by monk of the first. Uh, the last part was uh, inscribed on this uh, stone by a monk of uh, the first of Rolgor. Yida explained it to me. A day will uh, come bringing uh, strife and uh, sorrow that none uh, may escape. Vast not, waste not uh, these uh, preci precise uh, ha hours, but in quiet uh, preparation make uh, strong the body and mind. I don't know if that storm blood uh, I don't I don't know if that storm of blood is uh, finally upon us but if it is I have to uh, believe that everything we've uh, been through everything that has uh, led us to uh, this point will see us uh, through in the end 
Oh, sorry. That was all a bit uh, melodramatic, wasn't it? Let's uh, keep moving, shall we? Off to the infirmary. This is the infirmary, as you can uh, probably be tell. Uh, here's where the resistance uh, healers patch up the wounded and uh, tend to the sick. No matter how uh, careful, carefully we uh, planned our operations, uh, casualties were inevitable. It's a sad thing to think about, but uh, it's also important to uh, remember uh, the cost, as uh, Conrad would say. We would go. We, uh, we should go. I'll show you uh, the Ephrite Plaza next. Skywatcher. Nice. Uh, when you've seen an one if right, you've seen them all, right? Not quite. Uh, this one. Uh, this one's an old uh, design, dating back decades, uh, to when the first. Uh, who when the fist of our uh, Algor was uh, still here? It was. It may uh, look a little different, but it works uh, just as well as any other. I'll show uh, you where uh, the settlers uh, are next. Settlers. But uh, don't forget to uh, attune to the Ifrite before we go. Yeah, already done that. Arms, armor, potions, you name it. These folks uh, got it. Uh, the resistance uh, would be in a bad uh, way without uh, brave merchants keep it uh, provisioned. If you're uh, short on uh, anything or you need uh, something repaired, these are the people to speak to. Oh, and Alphanod and LSA are here. Uh, why don't we uh, see how they are getting on? Alright, uh, let's see, plus nine. Yeah, let's uh, grab that. And uh, equip. Uh, there we go. Well, I'm going to call this an episode right here. We have already gone over the time with like five minutes. So uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode. And quite frankly, I really like uh, the Storeblood uh, DLC. It's actually uh, 
or expansion I should call it. It has a very good story and uh, I hope you all will enjoy it. Anyhow, if you enjoyed this episode, then uh, please feel free to uh, hit the subscribe button, I mean, uh, like button. And uh, if you're new here, uh, first of all, welcome. And uh, if you enjoy my content, then uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button together with the notification bell. I will be back again tomorrow, and until then, stay safe out there.